After a recent update, you no longer need to use Google or Google commands to interact with your Google Nest Hub Max. Now, using a combination of hardware and software, your Hub Max will already know who it's talking to and customize the experience accordingly just by looking at the device. There are a number of cool announcements and teasers during this year's Google I.O. Developer Conference. However, one really fascinating update that piqued my interest in particular was called Look and Talk. During the segment talking about updates to Google Assistant, the VP and GM of Google Assistant revealed that you can now simply look and start talking to the Hub Max without any need to use the trigger phrase Google or Google. We're a heavy Google ecosystem using family with multiple Google Homes, Pixel 6 phones, and third-party integrations into Google Assistant to help manage and control our daily lives. I own a smaller Google Nest Hub, however, after discovering the new feature, I decided to purchase a Hub Max for myself to test out Look and Talk. One of my biggest bugbears is that you have to use the OK or Hey trigger phrase to start an interaction with Google Assistant. It always felt a little inconvenient and unnatural to have to use a trigger phrase in certain situations or as part of a string of inquiries. I'm well aware of the technological limitations that necessitate the user experience, but it was still quite jarring. The reason for needing trigger phrases is that there's no way for your smart devices to be listening and processing audio in the vicinity for 24 hours a day and accurately pass out everyday chatter or audio from your TV from actual commands. The technical logistics just aren't available despite the extremely clever engineers at Google. Google did introduce an evolution of the way you can interact with the Assistant with continued conversation. It's been a nice update whereby you can continue to interact with Google Home after using the trigger phrase once to string together contextual commands and questions. In practice though, it isn't always reliable and sometimes cuts out midway through a conversation. It does its best to recognize contiguous interactions, but if you pause too long or if it simply thinks you're no longer talking to it directly, Google Assistant will fall deaf and mute. It's with these frustrations in mind that Look and Talk feels like it's the first step in trying to bridge the awkward gap in functionality. The Google Nest Hub Max includes a lot of hardware that is key to how Look and Talk works. Thanks to the high quality microphone, the camera and the Google Assistant AI, the Nest Hub Max is able to combine them all to provide a frictionless way to interact with your smart device. Now, simply being within range of the Hub Max and facing it is enough to alert the device that a command or interaction is imminent. Then, without having to use a trigger phrase, you could begin talking to it as normal. Look and Talk requires you have a number of different features turned on that you might not already be using. Using your Google Home app on your phone, the Nest Hub Max must have camera sensing, voice match, and face match toggled on. Also, you have to have the Nest Cam feature turned off. The Nest Cam feature is the ability to use your Hub Max like a security camera to monitor your home, in a very similar way to individual Nest cameras that you can buy. While this might be a hurdle for some users who rely on the feature, there is a workaround if you use the home and away settings for Nest cameras. Using the home and away feature, you can have the camera turn on to monitor your home while you're physically away from your house based on your phone's location. In theory, most users won't monitor their house while at home and probably use their Hub Max for other reasons while at home. One important note is that the feature is only available in English at this time. As with most Google features, I'm sure that other languages will be supported in the near future. Now on the Google Home app, turn on Look and Talk. Open the Google Home app. On the home screen, tap Settings. In the Features section, tap Google Assistant and then Face Match. Find the name of your Hub Max and then turn on Look and Talk. You will also need Voice Match enabled to get this far, so some users who haven't saved their voice profiles won't be able to continue. The benefits of using Voice Match are all about customising content by user if you live in a household with multiple friends or family members who also use the Google Home devices. When you set up Voice Match on a shared speaker or display, it will identify the current user and tailor music services, YouTube and personal results to that individual. Face Match is an extension of this personalisation feature, whereby it uses the camera to further refine the way it differentiates between different people. If you're worried about privacy, Google thought ahead and your video is only processed on the device and isn't sent to Google servers. Once all the features have been enabled for Look and Talk, the camera on the Hub Max will analyze the video feed. If the AI determines you're looking at the device, it will activate the assistant. To help with your interactions, the Hub Max will use visual cues at the top left-hand corner, some of which existing users will already be familiar with. The four undulating gray dots signify the Hub Max has detected that you're standing within five feet and looking at the camera. The multicolored animated lines signify the Hub Max has detected your speaking and actively listening for a question or command. The rotating multicolored dots signify the Hub Max is processing an input. 
And then finally, the four shaking multicolored dots signify the assistant AI couldn't find an answer to your question or command, but is still listening for a new input. In practice, the system has a high probability of working, but there are moments of frustration when it seems like the Hubmax isn't responding. It could just be bugs in the first rollout of this feature, but I have a growing feeling that the user interface and feedback experience needs some improvement. For instance, rather than barely noticeable shaking dots when the assistant is unable to find a response, short audible feedback would be better for comprehending when something hasn't worked for the end user. Google does include a disclaimer on their support pages explaining that the technology might include errors when used. Understandably, there will be certain scenarios where errant results or no results will happen. Finally, it's worth going over when Look and Talk is not available on your Nest Hub Max. These include when media is playing, such as music or videos, you stream a security camera or use Nest Hub Max as a Nest Cam, use Duo, Meet or Zoom, or while guest mode is on. Also, Face Match doesn't work with Workspace at this time for professional accounts. Ultimately, Look and Talk is the first step into a truly smart assistant, reducing the friction to using the Google Assistant AI. It feels like we're getting closer to normal human-to-human -human interactions without the stilted requirement for using a keyword to start a conversation. To maximize the Look and Talk experience and usability, careful placement of the Hub Max within your main living space is key. On a desk or counter where you're regularly within the five feet range will mean more seamless interactions. However, if your Hub Max is located away from your main living area or over five feet away, you'll lose the ability to really leverage the technology. In the future, I could see Google releasing more sophisticated home devices using Look and Talk. The T's new Pixel tablet stroke Google Home hybrid device mentioned during Google I.O. seems to be the natural successor to the tech. Picking up your smart screen and instantly reducing the effective range to put the assistant on standby should produce some very interesting and intriguing use cases we have yet to think of outside of Google's own laboratories. Thanks for watching and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.